Hey fam, welcome back. So I am back with another crochet tutorial and today I am going to show you how to get this gorgeous blonde bombshell look. Now Diva Trask was kind enough to send me this hair to review and I couldn't wait to get this video out to you guys. So pull up a chair, grab me some wine, and let's get fabulous. And so guys, this is my braiding pattern. Nothing complicated, just braids going straight to the back. I'm super excited because my shave sides have finally grown out long enough to braid. And this is how it looks in the back. I just sewed down the ends of my braids to the cornrows. Now, my hair is already freshly washed. I use the Camille Rose Ginger Cleansing Rinse, which has castor and aniseed oil in it. And I also deep condition with the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner with cocoa and mango butters. So I love that these products have a lot of oil and moisturizers in it to help uh, moisturize my hair, which is super duper dry. And then I also moisturize my hair using the lock method. For my leave-in, I like to use the Cantu leave-in conditioning mist primarily because it's water-based and it's really going to hydrate my hair. I follow that up with the Shea Moisture 100% Pure Flaxseed Oil to seal in all that moisture. And to seal in the oil, I use the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This one has Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. Uh, it's my first time using this product. Diva Trust actually put this in my package for me. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how my hair likes or reacts to this product. So before I put in my crochet brace, I like to moisturize my scalp. And today I'm going to be using the Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba Scalp Oil. It conditions the scalp and it also helps prevent breakage. I love that this comes in a bottle with a nozzle because it makes it really easy to moisturize your scalp once your hair is braided. And after that, I spray on the African Royale BRX Braid Spray. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this before. It's a moisturizer, conditions your scalp. But what I love about it is that it has antibacterial properties, which is super important for my workouts and on my sweaty scalp. And it also has anti-itch properties. So it's going to help reduce the itching while your hair is in your crochet braids. To create our blonde bombshell look, we're going to be using the Zuri Queen of Collection Queen Curly Crochet Braids in 22 inches in the color Honey Blonde. And this is what the hair looks like. You get 12 strands in each pack. And this hair is a true honey blonde with ice blonde tips. Definitely not for the timid. Of the 12 braids in the pack, you're going to get five tree braids. I was so excited to see tree braids make a comeback, especially in a crochet style. You're also going to get seven of these braids here with the feathered ends. And so those two together create your 12 braids in each pack. And this hair is pre-looped. You guys know how I love me some pre loop crochet here. It makes the installation time so fast. So let's go ahead and get this hair installed. Now I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a minute to figure out how in the heck to get the ends of this hair through the loop because the loop is too small. There's no adjustable band and you cannot get your fingers through. And as you can see, this is a struggle for me. This is an absolute mess. But about 10 braids in, I figured it out. All you have to do is attach the part of the braid where the band is in your hook on your crochet latch and then pull the ends of the hair through the loop. You guys, once I figured that out, it was smooth selling from then on out. It only took me about an hour and a half to get this entire look completed. Now I'm going to show you that process again in slow-mo. Uh, in just a few minutes, you can see exactly how to get this hair installed. All right, you guys, I am three packs in, so I wanted to show you what the hair looks like with three packs installed. To give you an idea of how far apart you should space your hair, I have eight packs total, and this is what three packs installed looks like. Now, guys, I'm going to show you one more time in slow-mo exactly how to install this hair. Just place the band on the end of the braid in your crochet hook, close the latch, and then pull the ends of the hair through the loop. It makes it super easy to do. With the tree braids, it feels a little bit awkward, but once you cinch down the loop to form your knot, it makes it easier to pull all the rest of that hair through the loop. So it's okay. You'll get the hang of it. Trust me. I promise. So guys, this is the finished look, and quite honestly, I'm not sure how I'm feeling this blonde on me. I think the problem is, you know, when I was growing up, the stigma in the neighborhood is that blonde, uh, blonde hair on dark skin, black women looked ghetto, okay? That was just a stigma. We always felt that, and pair it with some red lipstick, and you were ghetto times two, okay? So here you have it. <laughs> 
So you know I had to dye the roots, right? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do the blonde all the way. All I did to dye the roots is I used uh, the black, brown, um, high beams, intense, temporary hair color spray. It was super easy. I just sprayed it over the top. It is temporary, so the color will rub off on your hands. So I recommend you do this after you install your crochet braids or else you're gonna have dye all over your hands. I've been wanting to try blonde for a while. I've been doing a lot of black on my channel lately and so I wanted to just kind of spice it up a little bit and add some color in my life. And my husband and I just went and saw Aquaman and I was totally crushing on that red on his sidekick mirror. Oh my gosh, that red was so gorgeous. So I definitely wanted to bring some color onto my channel and add a little more color in my life. So yeah, I'm really, really feeling this. I'm getting uh, superhero vibes. I'm feeling like Storm from Wolverine. So I'm definitely getting some superhero vibes from this one. Yeah, I can rock with this one. Uh, divatrust.com contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review some hair for them and I have been having my eyes on this hair for a while now and it was perfect timing so I immediately selected this hair and this hair is the Queendom collection it is a, a new collection by Zuri and it is the Queen Curly Crochet Braids I got it in the uh, 22 inches in the color Honey Blonde this hair is 100% hand braided it's premium fiber and it is flame retardant. And they have uh, tons of colors in this style. If this color is not for you, they have several sizes you can choose from. In terms of texture, I love the texture of this hair. Now this reminds me of tree braids. Um, I used to wear my hair in tree braids years ago, long before I started my YouTube channel. And so I was super excited to see the tree braid style back in crochet braids. I had never seen it before. And so once I saw it on the site, I was really excited to review this hair and bring the review to you so you can see what this hair looks like as well so I love the curl pattern it's not even um, you can't even call it a beach curl it's a little more uh, straight than a beach curl but it has a little bit of weight to it so I think that's super duper cute I love the color on this hair I love it's a little bit darker up here it goes to a lighter blonde and then you have the ice blonde at the tip so I really really like the color on this one um, I did not get any shedding when I went in, when I was installing the hair nor have I received any matting now I did sleep in the hair since filming the installation video I installed the hair yesterday I slept in it overnight I put it in two big jumbo twists put my bonnet on got up in the morning and just took the twist out and just kind of ran my fingers through to separate the hair and detangle the hair. So guys, I'm gonna leave some links to where you can purchase this hair from divatrust.com below, including similar crochet braid styles, including all the other styles in the new Zuri Queendom collection. Now, this hair is $8.95 a pack. You're gonna need eight packs, like I said, so you can get 10% off your order if you go to DivaTrust, create a new account, and use the discount code NEWDIVA10. You're gonna get 10% off your order. So guys, that's all I can think to say on this hair. If I miss any specs, you have any questions, leave them below, and I will make sure I answer them. Make sure you like this video just for watching it. Make sure you comment and share this video with your hair besties. And until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and bad.